Hey guys, Karis if you're the Double Review. This time I'll be reviewing the Henshin Belt Deluxe Hidden Zero One Driver and Deluxe Flying Falcon Pro Greiski from Kamen Rider Zero One. This is the belt used by Kamen Rider Zero One to transform, form change, and perform special attacks, as well as his first form change Pro Greiski. The belt includes the buckle, belt parts, and the Rising Hopper Pro Greiski, whereas the Flying Falcon Pro Greiski is sold separately. So. Let's get started. First up, we'll look at this year's collectible items, the Progress Keys, which are cassette-like card keys. Each one is designed with the same mold, with clear black on the front and then the main color on the back. Each one also has an animal motif and an ability. For the Rising Hopper Progress Key, its main color is neon yellow, with a grasshopper motif, and the ability Jump. You can see the image of the animal here, as well as the name and ability. On the back, you've got some mechanical details, it's the, a QR code for Gonba Rising, as well as the battery cover, and similar to other items of this ilk. This has three included button cell batteries. You can also open up the progress key to make it more key-like, which will then flip out this image where we have a silhouette of the animal within a circle, and then behind it reveals an X-ray view of a mechanical version of said animal. So in this case, we have a mechanical skeleton of a grasshopper. These all have less than sounds, and pressing the button on top will cycle through two sounds. First the ability, Jump! and then the animal. Ability. Another cool trick is that if you put your thumb near the joint, then flick it outwards, you can open up the progress key in one smooth motion. Jump! Ability. Our second one is the Flying Falcon progress key, which is neon pink with a falcon motif and the ability wing. And we see the X-ray on the inside, right there. Ability. Next, we have the Zero One Driver, developed by Hiden Intelligence, hence the Hiden Zero One Driver. This one is done up in Kamen Rider Zero One's main colors of neon yellow, black, and red, with some chrome silver on the front. You can see the speaker here, and where the lights will be right here. This pretty cool air design that extends out here, and you can see it's a nice molding on the metallic red. And it's that great metallic red that Bondi loves to use. On the top, we have a little bit of detailing with a little bit more red and yellow up here. You can see a slot for the progress keys up on this side, over on this side. Not much to see on the bottom. On the back, we have the battery cover and the on switch. And this takes three AAA batteries, as come pre-standard. Also included is a set of belt straps, and as has become pretty common, this isn't entirely original. The molding of the belt straps is the same design that's been used for the Ghost Driver and a couple of others. You have the belt stopper which is modified from the belt stopper from the Ghost Driver, but now has this triangle design in the middle. And of course, the way you install it is the same as it's been for years, where you just hold in the tabs and clip it in on both sides. And as usual, for sake of the review, I'll be leaving them off. After that, we'll take a look at the Zero One driver's functionality. To start off, we'll switch on the driver. Zero One driver. And in order to do the transformation, the proper steps are to first press the button on the progress key, then scan on here, and open it up and insert it into the driver. But before I show you what happens when you properly activate the transformation, I'll show you what happens when you don't properly activate it. So we just open up the progress key, and start into the side here. Right. 
You can see that inserting in the key will spring open the driver to reveal this center display. However, the driver will say error rise and the progress key will say the animal's name ability. Or if we say forget to press the button here, instead just scan on this pen. And then just insert into the driver. We get a little bit closer where the belt now says progress, but the key will still say grasshopper's ability in this case. And as you can see, in order to remove the progress key, we take this panel and slide all the way to the left, which will slowly eject out the progress key and can then be removed by hand. So now let's do the transformation properly. And there we get the transformation for Kamen Rider Zero One Rising Hopper. Where we can now see that as the transformation happens, the image of the animal in the center is looted. Next up, so I the special attack, you just push down on the progress key, like so. That activates the rising impact. Now, additionally, the rising impact can also be powered up, but in order to do that, we need to use a second progress key. So, in this case, we'll use Flying Falcon. So, if before we activate the transformation, we take it and scan it on the panel, it'll say bit rise. Then, if we press down on the progress key, That activates the rising bit impact at the end of the special attack, get an additional explosion from the Zero One driver. And we can do that a few different times. So we scan it twice. We get bite rise. Then three times. We get Kilo Rise. And by now you can probably tell a pattern that these are named after different units of data, from bits to bytes to kilobytes, etc. That's the rising kilo impact. Then we need it four times. You get mega rise. For the rising mega impact, then five times. Then Giga Rise. For the Rising Giga Impact, and I will admit that as a Pokemon fan, when I hear the name Giga Impact, I can't help but think of the Pokemon move of the same name. And then finally we can do it six times. Impact. 
let's just do that again a bit more properly. And finally, we can bring in the Flying Falcon progress key for our first form change. And there we have the transformation for Kamen Rider Zero One Flying Falcon. And we can activate the Flying Impact. Flying Impact! And then we'll use the Rising Hopper Progress Key to power it up. And there we go. Overall, for our first rider belt of the Reiwa era, what we have here is pretty impressive. It's simple yet advanced. Using a magnet in both the Progress key and in the Zero One driver to activate each other. And it actually does something that is really impressive that really you didn't see with the Heisei Rider belts where you have to actually properly do all the steps in order, in order to get the proper transformation. Because with a lot of things, activating the gimmick item is just for show and doesn't actually need to happen in order to activate the transformation. For example, with a rider got shot, you don't actually need to press the button in order to get the transformations. Or with a full ball, you don't technically need to twist, twist the cap to the front in order to get it to fit into the driver. But with the progress keys, you have to do the proper steps of pressing the button, scanning it, and then inserting it into the driver in order to get the full transmission, which I think is actually something quite nice to see. And it is a sign that they're kind of stepping up their games and you know, making it so that it does really kind of count to do everything in the proper order, which is something I can quite appreciate. Because it kind of goes to lengths to show that this is how it's supposed to be done. Additionally, what you get here is a pretty nice little bit of mechanics with the progress keys being pushed in to expand out the driver and then closing it back in, being used to retrieve the progress keys instead of something like a simple release button. Additionally, it is a pretty cool feature where if you have two progress keys, you can use one to enhance or power up the special attack of the one currently in the belt. And of course, you can use more for more form changes. So, if you're a fan of this series, I can definitely recommend picking up the Zero One Driver and at least one other progress key so you can get all the basic functions. Next time, I'll be doing the Ames Strat Riser. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you're new and look see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.